after doing the examples let us understand how is wagering different from contingent or how is contingent different from wagering function the first basis of differentiation is consideration in a wagering contract you see that when you win you get money you lose you pay money so the consideration in either case is money only however in a contingent contract the consideration is you know it may be goods or services as the contract may be whatever the contract is about is the consideration there so let's say if the contract is about the sale of goods the consideration for one party will be goods the consideration for other party will be the price for those goods if the contract is about you know rendering some services the consideration for one party which is getting the services is services and the consideration for other parties will be the price of those services so the consideration in wagering is only money the consideration in a contingent contract is goods or services whatever the contract may be about at the same time please understand consideration is only one sided in wagering contract only one party gets the consideration however in a contingent contract both the parties get something if one party is getting goods the other party gets money however in wagering contract only one party gets the party who wins gets money the other party has to pay only it does not get anything in return so please remember the consideration in wagering contract is money the consideration in contingent contract is goods or services whatever the business may be at the same time it is only one party that gets the consideration in wagering however in a contingent contract both the parties get something nature of uncertainty now the event that both are based on please remember that wagering contracts as well as contingent contracts are based on the event which is uncertain the result of it which is not known now how is the status what is the status or the position of this event this event is the main thing in a betting contract it is primary it is the only thing rather if india wins i pay you if india does not win i do not pay you i i get money from you so it is the main thing in the contract this is the thing which determines the contract however in a contingent contract the event is considered to be only incidental or collateral the event is considered to be secondary it is considered to be subsidiary it is considered to be subordinate so the status of the uncertainty or the event is primary in case of wagering and secondary in case of contingent contract the third point of distinguish is interest what is the interest of the parties when they enter into a wagering contract the interest is to win money is to win money now win or loss is betting you either win or you lose this implies that you are betting so your interest is in betting however in case of a contingent contract your interest is in the business transaction the contract the subject matter of the contract the goods or the services whatever the subject matter may be so you are interested in the goods you are not interested in the event you are not interested in paying or receiving money you are interested in the goods 
whereas wagering is concerned you are interested in winning and losing you either win or you lose so you are interested in betting validity wagering contract is void we we've already done this a wagering contract is void however a contingent contract is valid we've covered this also now the wagering contract is void correct but in the state of maharashtra and gujarat it is not only void but illegal also in the state of maharashtra and gujarat it is illegal so because it is illegal it again becomes void so we can say that wagering contracts are void but in other states it is not illegal in the state of maharashtra and gujarat it is void i'll write it here now the next point of study is all wagering contracts are contingent in nature whereas all contingent contracts may or may not be wagering that means whatever wagering contracts you make any kind of wagering contract will always be contingent because it is based on a contingent event the event which is uncertain the event the result of which you do not know so all wagering contracts are based on uncertain contingent events so they become contingent contracts however all contingent contracts are not wagering because some contingent contracts may be about business and some may be about wagering so wagering contract is a smaller concept contingent contract is a broader concept so if mathematically i would show you by a venn diagram it would be like this is a contingent contract and this is a wagering contract wagering contract is a subset of contingent contract now you can see that all wagering contracts are contingent contracts however there are some contingent contract which are outside the ambit or the purview of wagering contracts but all wagering contracts are contingent 